Hi guys, um, just wanted to do a little video about the spiky balls. These are the tortuous grey spiky balls. I also have some yellow ones which are slightly softer and um, sometimes just prefer the softer ones because these are quite vicious. However, I have had a couple of clients recently buy some of these delights. So I thought I'd just do a video so that if you um, wanted to know perhaps what you might, what you can do with them, then you can follow along to this video. So um, this was for your shoulders area rather than in the class we've done some things on um, your feet but you can use them down the sides of the legs, you can use them pretty much anywhere, front of the hips is really good as well um, to help just release out through that tight fascia and into those muscles that get quite sore when you're um, working out quite hard. So um, nice massage for the shoulders. You really need to make sure that when you're putting them in your back and you're lying on them that they don't just roll away from you. So um, I like to have uh, you know, two cushions um, and then you can place those balls up against those cushions so that you're not, they're not going to roll away, which is really helpful. And then again you can almost have them together or maybe just a centimetre apart because that's going to sit into your shoulder blades there. So um, for these exercises, if you wedge them up against here, if you don't then make sure that these cushions are sort of shuffled right down into the base of your neck and almost at the top of your spine, then these are just going to be sitting in the nape of your neck and not really doing anything. So if I just turn around, you really want them to be at the corners of those shoulder blades. So if you follow your shoulder and the back of your shoulder, you've got your the hard part of the bone, and you can follow the spine of the shoulder blade to its base, and then you can feel that the muscle gets squishy just at the base of that spine of the scapula or the shoulder blade. And that's really where you're trying to get those um, balls to press into, and it's where we hold a lot of our tension. So once you can put the cushions in place and the balls in the middle there, I'd recommend that you come down onto those balls and you just want to make sure then that your head and neck that these cushions are really shuffled in right onto your shoulders so that the balls are in that position in your spine okay and again you might need an extra cushion because you don't want your head tipped back so you want to make sure that you soften that chin so you're protecting your lower back and I'm just going to wriggle a little bit deeper there good Glue those feet together, turn your toes out and line your heels up. Now you're lifted away slightly from the mat underneath you, but that doesn't mean you can't find your neutral spine. So think about rolling that pelvis and flattening it into the um, mat underneath you, even though it's not going to quite meet it. And then tip the pelvis the other way and then find that halfway position. Good. Make sure the ribs are nice and funneled down towards your waist. And then from here, we can just float our arms up. So very simple into our shoulder isolations. We want to think about that beach ball between our hands. So the palms are facing inwards. And then you can just reach those fingertips up towards the ceiling and then drop those shoulder blades down. Now what you're gonna feel is you connect those shoulder blades underneath you. They're gonna almost press into those balls and give you that nice massage that you would want on those muscles between those shoulder blades. So that's a nice place to start. And then once you've done that, you can look to bring your hands and turn the palms to face towards um, the wall away from you. So then I tend to bring the elbows out nice and wide. And again, you're gonna to start to feel that into those shoulder blades and on those balls. And then almost like an arrow, so you're pointing and bringing those hands together and then draw the elbows out wide. And the elbows should be either in line with the shoulders or just slightly lower as you draw down. Good, and back. Good, exhale to draw down. Inhale to come back. Exhale to draw down. Inhale to come back. Good. And the other thing you can do is just again connect those shoulder blades onto the chest wall and take the arms back onto those balls. You'll feel the balls rolling down on those muscles between those shoulder blades as you reach the arms back. Good. Don't forget to keep connected through that rib cage and back to centre. You can also do scissor arms, which just again changes how the balls roll alternately through those muscles between the shoulder blades. Good. Then again, you can turn the palms away from you and bring the arms out 
wide and this time keeping the elbows at little L shapes at 90 degrees and the elbows are in line with the shoulders so you don't want to bring the arms down too far you should just be neatly stacked so that the elbow and the shoulder are nice and level and then you want to imagine that you're rotating around an axis of the arm bone so the forearm is going to draw down keeping those elbows and shoulders in line, rotating around the axis and back to centre. Glue those shoulder blades again onto the chest wall and then take the back of the hand backwards, rotating again around the axis. And that again really works into those shoulder blade muscles. Rotating there, good. And just go into what your range is because this is also quite an extreme movement for the shoulder joint because you're putting it through its full rotational range. So just go as far back as you feel able and as far forward as you can keep those shoulder blades glued onto the chest wall and back up into your arrows and back through. Good, okay, now bring those arms down and release out. So that's working those upper um, muscles. You can always just bring those balls further down into the mid back or even into the low back and perhaps I'll do some other videos just showing you how so you can use the spiky balls. Hope that helps. Thanks. Bye.